One. Welcome back to Aussieverse, ladies and gentlemen, where today we're going to be taking a look at my personal collection. This is my comic room, so we're going to take a nice big long tour around it and take a look at the mistakes that I've made about the orders that I've put stuff in. And yeah, have a big show off. Thank you very much for being here. Please like and subscribe the video. And uh, yeah, be a part of the Aussieverse and let's take a look around. So, starting off, we'll go to the top here. So these are books that I don't have room for on the shelf anywhere because these two are probably the biggest books that I own. This is the X-Men and Wolverine Adamantium collection. There is a few other ones out there, but they're very rare, very hard to come by, so I really doubt I'll get the others. Uh, comic art of 75 years, He-Man newspaper strips, a few novels that I've never been able to get rid of because I just loved reading them, especially The Last Days of Krypton, which is a story written about uh, all the days leading up to Krypton exploding. We've got the Infinity Saga DVD box set and a few other hardcovers that I love, like the Marvel Chronicles, Alex Ross, Marvelocity, Marvel and DC Encyclopedia, DC Anatomy of a Many Human, as well as the new Marvel Anatomy book, which is just absolutely amazing uh, to look at. The art in it is absolutely amazing. Uh, I like to keep a few heads around. I don't know where to put them all, so I've just got them scattered around. First one being Optimus Prime. We've got our big treasury editions here, which isn't the biggest collection, but I think they all look good there. Next to that, we have a couple of box sets. The massive Akira box set, as well as the complete Death Note. Hope you guys got it for 120 bucks. Love a day on Amazon. <laughs> Next to that, we have a few statues. We've got the two Collector Core, Marvel Collector Core statues that I got before quitting on them. Um, so the Captain America and Spider-Man little Oscars. Uh, we've got my Infinity War Hot, uh, Hot Toys gloves, yeah. Uh, the Thanos one and the Iron Man one. An Iron Man voice changer head thing, as well as some other statues. And uh, a mate of mine got me this for my birthday just recently, the Doctor Strange Eye of Ogamato, which I was very happy with. Plus the builder figure Galactus at the back there, which I love having um, because I bought it like that. So I didn't need to actually buy all the figures. Um, and then we move on to the omnibuses, my pride and joy. We have starting with Spider-Man. Spider-Man gets his own section because it's Spider-Man, of Just course. to remember, kids, the world begins and ends with Spider-Man. <laughs> so it obviously starts with Amazing Fantasy. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Spider-Man Roger Stern. Spider-Man by Michelinie. Uh, actually, both of them. Spider-Man vs. Venom. Todd McFarlane. Clone Saga, Ben Riley, John Byrne. Straczynski. Tangled Web, Superior Foes, and then I put the, the Spider-Man world omnibuses with the Spider-Man. So that's Venom, Carnage, Ultimate Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Spider-Gwen, Untold Tales of Spider-Man, and then we start at A, which is Acts of Vengeance, Alias, Aliens, Annihilation, Avengers, I Am Missing, Omnibus Volume 1, 2, and 4. For some reason, 3 is the only one that you can still find today. So that really annoys me. John Byrne Avengers, Atlantis Attacks, Gathering, Busiek, West Coast Avengers, New Avengers, Jonathan Hickman Avengers 1 and 2, which are just coming out in reprints, Uncanny X-Men, Black Widow, and I've got a gap there for the two new Black Panther omnibuses that are coming. And here we're up to number to C. So all the captains, America, Britain, and Marvel. Do you have a favourite one in this row? Uh, yes, I do. And it would definitely be... Uh, probably the first Ed Brubaker, actually. Um, I haven't read the Dan Jurgens yet, and I haven't read Captain Britain. Cloak and Dagger, Cosmic Ghost Rider, and then we have the Mountain of Daredevil Omnibuses, which 
I'm pretty sure that's every Daredevil omnibus, except for the Marvel Knights, which I've got in M. Deadly Hands of Kung Fu. Uh, I really need to get the five volumes of Shang-Chi, or is it four? The four volumes of Shang-Chi, which volumes. will never come back in print. Yeah, and apparently... See, so some of them you can still get. Some of them are very hard. Uh, this is every Deadpool omnibus. I have them all now as well, including the minibuses, which I don't know why they stopped. They definitely need a minibus volume four to have the ones that I've got in trades over there still, which I think is Deadpool versus Punisher, uh, Deadpool the Duck, and a few other ones. Uh, we've got Defenders, Devil Dinosaur, which is the biggest omnibus <laughs> in the world. It's only nine issues. So, but I always wanted to have that because I always loved Devil Dinosaur. The newly acquired Doctor Doom, Books of Doom. And then we have all the Doctor Strange omnibuses, Earth X 1 and 2, Electra, Empire, Eternals, Evolution War, and then we get onto the Fs, which is all the Fantastic Four omnibuses, which continue over here to every Guardians of the Galaxy omnibus. And now we are up to H, so I've got the Marvel Universe Handbook in H. Hawkeye, Heroes Reborn, Howard the Duck, and then we have the Hulk Omnibuses. I can't wait for the Maestro Omnibus, because there's heaps of that that I haven't read. Where are you going to put that? I'm going to put that after Volume 5, I think. Good. Yeah. Um, Infinity, Gauntlet, War and Crusade. I'm dying to get a new cover for Infinity War to make it match Gauntlet and Crusade more. I really hate that. That really annoys me. Um, then we have Iron Man. Um, I only have two Iron Man omnibuses, and as far as I know, I'm missing three more, which is Iron Man Volume 1 and 2, which are impossible to find, and Iron Man, uh, The Man in the Iron Mask. I think that's what it's called. Uh, Kazar, not Kazar, Kazar. Then Loki. Luke Cage, Man-Thing, and then we have the Marvel ones, which is the 75th Five Years, Marvel First 1990s, Marvel Knights, Marvel Universe by Frank Miller. This is a custom one that my partner Claudia made for me for my birthday. Uh, what does that one contain? This is Marvel vs. DC. Others call it DC vs. Marvel, but Marvel vs. DC. Uh, you can see that she's put these gold plates on it, and inside is... Every issue of DC vs. Marvel. Then it's the sequel, uh, All Access. And then it's the trilogy, Unlimited Access. And then it's all the one-shots as well. And last but not least, I even threw in uh, the Wizard Magazine special. That was all about amalgamation. So I was really cool to have that because that's obviously never going to come out in its own omnibus. One of a kind. One of a kind until Sharif sees it. <laughs> um, Marvel Zombies. Monsters, which I need volume two. Uh, that's every Moon Knight omnibus that's come out so far. Morbius. And I've got a gap here because I recently acquired Timely's Greatest Submariner pre-war years. And this is the post-Wars years. Uh, sir, why is the Morbius not with the Spider-Man books? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a good call. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I might, I might move that to Spider-Man at some point. Uh, Namor, New Warriors, Power Pack, and then one of my favourites we have is Punisher. Um, apart from Punisher by Rick Remender, this is all the Punisher omnibuses. Runaways, Secret Invasion, Secret Warriors, Secret Wars. I am dying to get the Secret Wars 2 Omni. I don't know when I'll ever get that. I'm really hoping it gets reprinted. Uh, this is every She-Hulk omnibus, Silver Surfer, Squadron Supreme. I think, I think there might be a different version of this. Yeah, there's an expanded version. Yeah, so that, that pisses me off. I need to get the expanded one. Um... One of the rare ones that was really hard to get that a friend ended up sourcing for me, which I'm very, very grateful for, is Stephen King The Stand. Um, you'll never be able to find this, unfortunately. Big slipcase 
with two omnibuses. The other one, as people know, is um, the Gunslinger, the Dark Tower. No, yeah, that's another one that I want to get, but you can't get. Um, then we have Thanos. Thanos. Um, this is every Thor omnibus, except for Volume 2 of Heroes Return, which I can't seem to find. What about Volume 3? There's a Volume 3? <laughs> yeah. No, there isn't. Yes, there is. Oh, well, dear. yeah, Thor Volume 3. Oh, you mean Mighty Thor? Yeah, Mighty Thor. Yeah, well, that hasn't come out yet. Yes, it has. I've got it. Oh, well, then Comic Book Aru must have it for me. I don't know. I'm going to have to look at that. It's the one coming out is Volume 4. Oh, man. Okay, I'll have to look at that. Here is the custom dust jacket that Sharif got for me for the Jason Aaron Thor, which is great. Uh, we then have Thunderbolts, Tomb of Dracula, and then the Ultimate Comics. And for some reason, Marvel really screw us with the second War omnibuses. As I said, Infinity War needs to change. Same with War of Kings. So I need to change the second War omnibus there for them to match. War of the Realms, What If, and then we have Wolverine, which I'm pretty sure is in the right order. And then we have the Mountain of X-Men omnibuses, which, apart from Onslaught, and apart from Age of Apocalypse, I haven't read any of them. So I have a lot of X-Men to read. Bottom shelf is continuing the X-Men, which I put Excalibur, X-Factor, X-Force, New Mutants, and X-Statics with them. What's your reasoning behind the order there? Uh, alphabetical. So I chuck, I chuck the Uncanny X-Men and X-Men in order, reading order. But then when it gets to here, it's A to Z. So Excalibur, E, F, Factor, N, and then X. Why wouldn't you put X Factor with X? What, what do you mean? Because it starts with X. No, Factor, F. X Factor. No, but that's X. No, no, no. I do it. So that's the way my brain works, man. I do it with the Spider Man trades as well. If anything that comes after the word spider is alphabetical order. Myth method to my madness. Um, and now we have the DC starting. So, 52. Animal Man, Aquaman, Authority, a couple of old Batman ones. Nightfall, which I'm missing volume 3, which I think so are a million of other people. Um, and then, not every Batman Omni... But the majority, I'd like to say. There's still quite a few missing. Uh, Deathstroke. Final Crisis. Jeff John's The Flash. Flashpoint. Fourth World. Five Years Later. Gotham Central. And a really old Green Lantern omnibus that Ryan says is redundant. Because it's been redone. But anyway. And then we move on to the second wall. So the second wall, I've got some more statues and stuff. I've got a custom-made Magneto helmet that a friend of mine painted for me. Um, I've got this recently, the Watcher statue from Zing Pop Culture. Uh, we've moved house in the last three months. I can't seem to find his other wig. This is a Homer uh, cookie jar, which I just chucked a Thor helmet on. Two different Batmobiles. Uh, Red Sun Superman, Red Sun Batman. And the statue from Injustice Game, uh, Batman vs. Wonder Woman, and a Green Lantern lantern at the back. Why have you got the statue for the Injustice Game when you don't play games? Because I bought the game when it first came out, because we had a PlayStation at the time. And that is a story for another tale, another day. Uh, so starting over here, we have Green Lanterns, which obviously put Blackest Night and Brightest Day there. Jeff John's Hawkman. He-Man, Hellblazer, House of Mystery, Infinite Crisis, Injustice, JLA and Justice Leagues. Just imagine Stan Lee creating the DC Universe. One Million, Planetary, Preacher, Rebirth, Red Hood, Sandman, Super Sons, Generations, Superman, Batman, Death of Superman, Continuing on Superman, the 3D DC Villains Omnibus, which is so cool. So, so cool. On to Why the Last Man, 
zero hour. And now we are on to the non-Marvel and DC omnibuses in alphabetical order. I go alphabetical order by publisher. So Aftershock goes first, Animosity, and then D for Dynamite, Boys. This sucks ass, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, Legendary Comics is Pacific Rim Omnibus. And now we've got my Absolutes, which I only have four. I've, I've only new to Absolutes. Next we have Library Editions. Uh, Black Hammer. I've only got one volume of the World of Black Hammer. There are five. Fear Agent. I've only got the one. The rest I've got in trades. House of Penance. I haven't read yet, but I got really cheap off Scott Burrows from our group. The Big Damn Frickin' Huge Sin City. And now we've got the Umbrella Academy set, Deadly Class, Death and Glory, Something is Killing the Children. This I've just chucked here because I didn't know where else to put it. That is the Iron Man ACDC set that came out when Iron Man first came out, which has a lot of promo stuff. Um, I've seen this comic slabbed for sale for like 700 bucks, which I don't understand. Um, and now we're on to just the normal hardcovers. Starting with Marvel, we go to A, all the way to Z. I'll let uh, Ryan shoot that in the way that he wants. Do you have anything here that's a particular favourite? Uh, Civil War is definitely favourites. Um, I'm missing one of them, and that's out of all of them, it's the Spider-Man one. Um, apart from that, that's the whole Civil War. Um, I'm a huge fan of, obviously, this era, Mighty Avengers and New Avengers. Um, Punisher Siege is one of my favourite things of all time. And Vision's there. That's pretty notable. There was another Vision series after that. They announced it, but they never released it. Oh, is that what happened? Yep. I was always wondering what happened to that. Um, then we have the Hickman uh, X-Men, which I'm really scared to read because it really confuses me. Uh, DC, A to Z. So, as you can see, there's not much there because I'm not really a DC guy, but that's all the DC hardcovers that I have. And now we're going back to non-Marvel and DC, starting from A, uh, A to Z. So IDW is, comes first. That's all the Ninja Turtles. Last Ronin, which I still need to read. Uh, now we're on to Image. All the Criminal. Firepower, Gideon Falls. I Hate Fairyland and Invincible. Razorblades, Saga. Um, Sunstone and Walking Dead. You got a favourite indie on the image shelf? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Is uh, anything by Brubaker and Invincible. They're the, they're the standouts. And after that would be Saga and Walking Dead. Uh, then after those hardcovers, we then go to Marvel again. I then do A to Z of the smaller standard size hardcovers. Um, so yeah, Alpha Flight, Avengers. I put Dark Avengers and New Avengers and Secret Avengers all with Avengers. Um, then we go to Captain America and Fantastic Four and Fear Itself. Fear Itself is one that is, as you can see, all of that and all of that. And there are still five that I have in trades that I still need to get in hardcover. For some reason, they had one that was a big hardcover, which is really annoying. So I just put that here. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy, all my Hulks. Um, this book is one that I couldn't find in a, tra in a hardcover anywhere, but I had the eight issues for ages, and it's a really good story. Each cover is done by Alex Ross, and someone gave it to me for like five bucks because it's a part of that news agency one. So I just chucked that there with the eye. Um, we've got the whole Marvel Noir collection in hardcovers, which I'm pretty happy to have. And then we have the entire Siege event, all in hardcovers. 
Uh, I don't have many Spider-Man hardcovers, but that's all the Spider-Man. And Mighty Thor and Thor and Ultimate comics in hardcovers. And then we go on to Wolverine and X-Men. And then after X-Men is DC hardcovers. Green Lantern, Mir Mr. Miracle, Shazam, Superman Earth 1, Tales from the DC Multiverse. You got a favourite in there? Uh, Green Lantern for sure. And then after that we've got just the standard hardcover sized uh, books. So that's all the uh, Brubaker, Pulp and Reckless uh, Game of Thrones and then after that we have my manga section I have five volumes of Berserk the whole Helsing the Usagi Yojimbo which I plan on getting the rest of them uh, the little section of Juno, Juno Ito I don't know if I'm saying that Junji right Junji Ito, Junju Ito yeah. um, I want to get more of them uh, one of my favourite mangas of all time is Pluto which is like an Astro Boy Sort of telling, and there's Astro Boy Volume 1. Mask Omnibus, which I've never read. And now we have the Compendium section. So Starman, Incorruptible, Irredeemable. Uh, three out of four of the Hellboys. Spawn Compendiums. I have a gap there because the Spawn 3 is coming. Uh, Strange Girl, Stray Bullets, The Goon, which is absolutely freaking amazing. If you haven't read The Goon, I highly suggest it. And then we have trades, starting from A to Z in Marvel. So as you can see, this is Avengers stuff. That's a lot of Avengers. <laughs> it is. And then we go to the last wall. We're at the top, uh, probably my favourite statues. We've got my Scarlet Spider, my Venom stuff, the new Spider-Man mask with the... Oh, Lights that change, Green Goblin statue. This statue I have had since I was about nine years old, and it's moved house over and over and over again. And Doc Ock now only has two arms. And continuing Marvel, so we're at B, and I'll let Ryan just record all of that. So as you can see, he doesn't care about chronological orders too much. It's all in alphabetical. That's right. There's the new Devil's Reign, which I'm sure he will regret having <laughs> very shortly. Exiles, which I'm sure he will eventually move on no, and get a hardcover when it comes no out. When it eventually <laughs> comes <laughs> out. That will never come out in hardcover. Some more stuff that I think he will eventually move on, like Infinity Watch, which I'm sure will come. Do you have a favourite on here? Oh, too much, man. But there's also sagas that I'm, I've been waiting to read for ages. Like, for example, I haven't read any of this Iron Man. There's, there's a few of them that I'm missing. Uh, as you can see, that's volume 1 to 12. I really want to read this Captain Marvel set. That's the whole thing. Uh, I love the Punisher, so all of this I love. But then I'm really kind of really happy to have this section too. So this is every Secret Invasion book, except for the actual Secret Invasion hardcover, which I sold because I've got the omnibus. But then you've also got this too, which most people forget how many trades there are for it. This is Hickman's Secret Wars, where they cancelled every title and replaced it with a new title. What's this section over here got? So when I moved house, I stupidly put all my Spider-Man out of order. So putting them back in order was a freaking nightmare. So I've done the best that I can. So it's pretty much Amazing Spider-Man uh, in reading order. What's that one on the top? This is a Spider-Man 2 official comic book adaption, which I've only got because I love that picture. And when it continues down here to Spider-Man, 
when it when Sp when Amazing Spider-Man ends, I then go A to Z. So Alpha, Carnage, Peter Parker, Deadpool, Friendly Neighborhood, Green Goblin, uh, Invasion of the Spider Slayers, you know, and so forth. Spider Girl right there. Very good run, apparently. It is. Some ultimate that I don't understand why he's still got. Because the omnibus hasn't come out yet. It will come. <laughs> Uh, then we've got Venom, I put with Spider-Man. Do you have a particular favourite Venom in this section? Oh, Donny Cates, mate, 100%. Yeah, but he's not in this section. Yeah, well, okay, okay, in this section then. Um, well, probably the original, just the birth of Venom. I love that stuff. And this is, apart from the hardcovers and the omnibuses, this is every single ultimate comic that there is. I'm pretty sure I've got everything. See, he's even got most of Ultimate X-Men. No, that's all of it. Most of Ultimate X-Men. What am I missing? The first chunk? The first chunk I just got in an omnibus. <laughs> <laughs> Wolverine Origins. You were hunting that down for a little bit, weren't you? I was, and I finally got it all. I'd love all that in hardcover. Old Man Logan, which is deserving of a hardcover. Yep. And then I have all these X-Men, which, I'm not going to lie, is not in order. I am very, very confused by how this order goes. So if anybody's looking at all of this section, and they want to tell me the right order... By all means, go for it. Several spin-offs as well. Yep. That I'm sure confuse you. Yes, again, it goes A to Z. So, as you can see, after here, it goes A, Angel, Cable, Chaos War, Cyclops, Dark X-Men, X-Factor, Gambit, and so forth. Here, I just have... A few magazines that I don't really ever want to get rid of because that's the Death of Superman gatefold poster. Um, I'm obsessed with that era of Superman because everybody hates it. Um, that is the Amalgam Wizard. And I don't know why I have this one actually. Maybe because of Secret Invasion. And then on top of these books we have... The Marvel Swimsuit Editions. Those pages look pretty stuck together. <laughs> um, I'd love, I wish they did one of these in a hardcover. Just the whole collection. Because they're pretty cool. You don't see that sort of stuff anymore. Do you hear those pages, crinkle people? <laughs> and then we start with the DC trades. Anything notable here? No, not really. There's a lot that I haven't read yet. Um, I've read most of the Batman stuff and Green Lantern, but I need to read all the Convergence. I haven't read any of that yet. I need to read this box set of the uh, Jonah Hill stuff. Sorry, Joe Hill. Um, Red Lanterns I love. I'm a big, big Red Lantern fan. Um, same with Stormwatch. There's Insufferable, which goes with those other compendiums earlier. Day Tripper, which is amazing. Um, so after this book here, that's the end of DC. From here we have the other publishers' trades, which I don't have much. As you can see, it's really only Afterlife with Archie, Captain Ultimate, Day Tripper, Insufferable, uh, Fear Agent, Godzilla, um, Phantom, Punk Rock Jesus, and Luther Strode. V for Vendetta and Witches. And what starts here is all of my Elseworlds. Um, I'm a big DC Elseworlds fan, so I bought all the trades. And these are the ones that haven't been redone in trades. These are the original formats. 
Do you have a favourite? Uh, there's too many, man. Like, I think um, uh, The Nail is one of my favourites. And then after the Elseworlds, I then have a crossover section. Uh, so this is all the crossovers. So we've got, for example, Robocop versus Terminator, Batman Judge Dredd, Justice League Power Rangers, the Dark Horse DC crossovers, uh, all the Marvel uh, and, and DC crossovers, Batman Ninja Turtles, the crossover classics between Marvel and DC. Um, what else we got here? The Infestation, which is like uh, all the zombies and Ninja Turtles and zombies and G.I. Joe and stuff. Uh, JLA and Avengers, the original trade. Star Trek Green Lantern. Uh, Hulk and Pit. You know, just all the crossovers that I can find, I chuck, I chuck in this section. And then last but not least, we have the uh, Digests. So I've got Aranya, uh, Mech Monsters, Mini Marvels, Runaways that weren't included in the Omnibus, Spider-Man Loves Mary Jane, a couple of Spider-Girls because they haven't come out yet in the bigger ones. This Smallville book came from the Smallville box set. Um, and then I've just got a couple of piles here of these are just a couple of books that I need to read. These are being given to Steve Roberts. This is being given to Sharif. This is being given back and to Mark. And then over here, I need more shelves. I'm sure you people know what these things are. This is the news agency, what, Eagle Moss or Hatchet, I can't remember, ones that came out every two weeks. I was getting them for ages until I realized they weren't books that I didn't already have anymore. So I quit getting them but I'd love to be able to put them on a bookshelf and get that spine all together. Uh, these are trades that I've pulled out to sell recently because I'm trying to get rid of most of my trades. And these are the new books that I've gotten recently that I need to somehow get into the bookshelf. Oh, look, there's Ultimate x -Man. There you go. And uh, what happened to that Timeless book there, huh? Look at that. Yeah, we don't talk about that. <laughs> and that is my collection. I mean, I've got a lot of crap around that I don't know what to do with. Like, once upon a time, I used to buy as many masks as I could. And I had a dream of getting, like, about 20 of these heads and just putting the masks all around. So, like, you know, I've got the Winter Soldier here. Um, I've got all of these just random masks. Um, Iron Patriot. Black Panther, Miles Morales, Captain America, uh, War Machine, Iron Spider. Um, I've got Zoom from the Flash TV series. We've got the Iron Man. We've got the Transformers. We've got Magneto, uh, Thor over there. So it'd be great to have like all the heads, I reckon, on a wall. And the other plan that I have for this is I recently purchased um, these things. Let's see. Okay, I put them away in a cupboard, but what they are is, is these pockets that you put one issue of a comic in and you can snap them together and then you put them on the wall and you can have issues of comics and I'm going to put all the Alex Ross timeless variants all along the wall there because I reckon that'll look really cool too. Um, and yeah, apart from you know some other knickknacks, Doctor Doom, Flag, Venom Money and other crap that I just don't know what to do with, that is my comic room. I hope you've had a great look at it. I hope you know <laughs> you can help me put things in a better order. I hope there's some books there you didn't know existed and you're like, now you can add them to your list. If there's any books you think I'm missing, let me know. Uh, that's about it. Please like, subscribe, share the love, and we will see you for our live chats and other videos coming up. This has been Omnibo with his Omni Room.